Hey guys, welcome to the next video of C programming language tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use strchar function in a C programming. So, strchar function is basically used to find a character from a given string. Now, suppose if you want to find out a string, or we can say that if you want to find out a particular substring from a main string, then in this situation, we cannot use this strchar function because this function is basically associated with the characters and this function will find out only characters from this string. Now suppose if we want to find out a substring from a main string then in this situation we have to use one another function called as a str str. So str str is a function which will find out the substring from a main string. So here we have to write str str which is function name and inside the brackets we have to specify the main string and by giving comma we have to specify the substring over here. Now the first thing that we have to remember about this function is that this function will return a pointer to the first occurrence of the substring. So we have to give or we have to store the result of this function inside a pointer. And the second thing that we have to remember is that this function is defined and declared in this string.h header file. So before using this function, we need to include this header file called as a string.h here. Now we will write a code to see how this function works. So here inside the main bracket, we have to declare one character array which will store our main string. So just use char. Here I am giving name main string. And inside the brackets, we have to specify the size. So here I am specifying size 40. And by giving equals to, we have to give or we have to assign a value to this main string. So here I am giving value learn programming yourself like this now we need one another substring so just use char give value here or give a name to your substring here i am giving name substring and inside the brackets we have to specify the size so the size is 30 and here we have to specify a value that we want to store in this substring so just use any value i am giving programming like this now this function will return a pointer to the first occurrence of this substring. So to store the result, we need to declare one pointer. So here use pointer or here we can we have to declare one pointer. We need to use star because we are declaring pointer and here I am giving pointer name. So here my pointer name is result like this. Now we have to use this str str function. So just use result is equals to str str and inside the brackets we have to specify a main string and after that by giving comma we have to specify the substring so these main string and substring are name of my character array if you have given a different name then you have to specify that name now after execution of this line or after execution of this function, this will return a pointer to the first occurrence of this substring. And if the substring is not present in this main string, then this will return a null value. So we have to check this by using if else condition. So just use if and inside the brackets we have to specify result. And inside the two curly brackets, we have to specify the statement that we want to execute if result contains some value. So here we have to write printf. And I am giving message. The string is present. Like this. And if this result contains null value, that means if result have value 0 or anything like null then we have to write one else block here so just use else and here I am giving message string is not present like this now our code is ready so let's build and run the code to see the output
so as you can see the output is string is present so this is why because our substring is programming and our main string is learn programming yourself so this programming is present in this main string here like this so that's why this if condition becomes true and whatever we have written in this block it will get executed now suppose if you want to see the whole string or the remaining string after finding out the substring from the main string then we have to just use printf here use slash n for new line and you can give a message like a remaining string is percent s and here we have to give a reference of a pointer so here my pointer name is result like this now let's build and run the code to see the output so here as you can see the output is the string is present and remaining string is programming yourself so this is why because this function will return a pointer to the first occurrence so that's why it will return pointer to is programming and whatever remaining string is there it will get stored in this pointer so that's why it is printing programming yourself now let's change value of this substring i am making here a b c d like this now this a b c d is not present in this learn programming yourself so let's build and run the code to see the output as you can see the output is string is not present so this is why because a b c d is not present in this learn programming yourself so in this way we can use this str str function in a c programming so str str function is basically used to find out the substring from a main string so in this video we learn how to use str str function in a c programming and in the next video we will see the next part